This is the GAC Weekly, presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. To women's basketball, where Southwestern has taken control of the GAC once again, 18-0 in conference play and winners of their second consecutive regular season championship, the Lady Bulldogs have won 23 straight and have clinched the number one seed in the upcoming GAC postseason tournament. Four other teams have clinched a spot in the postseason tournament as well. Harding at 13-5 in GAC play and East Central, Henderson State, and Southern Nazarene all at 12-6. and six. Three seeds remaining to be taken on the women's side. On the men's side, four of those spots in the tournament have been clinched. Southern Nazarene at 15 and 3 leads the way in the conference standings right now. Southern Arkansas 13 and 5 and Southeastern and Oklahoma Baptist each with records of 12 and 6. One note on the women's basketball side, Northwestern's Bailey Brown in a 90 to 44 victory over Southeastern last weekend established a new GAC rebounding record pulling down 26 boards in the victory. To softball now, where three teams have managed to make it out of non-conference play with winning records, Monticello at 5-1, Harding at 8-2, and, and Southern Arkansas at 9-3. Conference play gets underway this weekend in the GAC. In baseball now, four teams at 3-0 in league play, including Northwestern, which has garnered some national attention on the baseball side, ranked regionally number five now in the central region. Not official rankings through the NCAA, but still uh, ranked number five. Harding at 9-3 and three after losing the first three games. Harding has rattled off nine consecutive on the baseball side. We move now to something outside the sports realm, but still fun and involving two towns in the GAC, Searcy, Arkansas and Durant, Oklahoma, as these two towns have garnered nationwide attention with the online show Small Business Revolution Main Street. It's an online makeover show, not unlike the Ty Pennington version of online makeover shows for homes and families who needed a little bit of assistance with their homes to be made over and made new. Well, this takes it to a new level. Small Business Revolution Main Street, which is championed by the Deluxe Corporation, has an online show and it is moving into its fourth season. 12,000 cities and towns across the United States applied to be the town that was made over in season four. That number was narrowed down to 20 and then to 10 and now to six. And Cersei and Durant are in the top six and online voting has been going on for the last week. I got to visit with the athletic directors from Durant, Southeastern, and from Searcy, Harding, Keith Baxter, and Jeff Morgan, respectively, talking about what this has meant for their respective towns, the My Durant, the My Searcy push to try to be that final, final city, the city that will get an online makeover and $500,000 toward helping its city and small businesses grow. We hear first from Coach Keith Baxter about what this push and this rally has meant to Durant and how it has brought the town together. It's really tied together and united uh, people from many, many different walks of life, and it's exciting to see the the momentum that's been been, uh, created, and we're just uh, happy that we can be a small, small part of that. You know, we've had a lot of people on campus. We had the event, as you mentioned last week, with – Hashtag my Durant night uh, with our East Central basketball game where we had local businesses uh, at the game and, and promoting some of their products. And again, more, more than anything, just promoting Durant and uh, trying to get people involved. And then prior to that, uh, you know, when we had to visit, uh, there was probably, I guess, a couple thousand people on campus within the student union. So anytime we have uh, uh, that many people from our community on our campus it's, it's exciting for us but the neat thing is just to watch some everybody working together for for a common goal and coach I, I wanted to ask you that you've been around the community for a number of years uh, off and on have you seen anything like this in the town before and and uh, how would you rate something like this well i really haven't seen uh something to this magnitude where you have again such a diverse group people from all different walks of life uh, working together again for a common goal and, and the common goal is to, to better the city of Durant and, that, and that's what we're all about it's all our community and that's what what we want to do um, I would say it's off the charts as far as is as, where would I rank it I think it's just the neatest thing and would hope no matter how this thing turns out is that it, it has shown uh, 
what people can do when they when they unite for a common goal and it betters everyone you know it's just it's just a better situation for all of us uh for all of us to be a part of for all of us to witness and, and what a message it sends to our young people you know our students that's what the, is a neat one of the neat things for me is that you know we talk to our kids about uh being a productive part of society being a productive part of their community wherever that community uh they decide to live you know once they graduate from here and what a great example that durant and, and the university have been for, for our current students to show them the things that can happen when people do you not, you know, it's, it's what we talk about with teams all the time. Uh, but now here's a, a living proof of, of what can happen. Uh, and again, whether Durant wins first or, or not, what positive improvements have been made from the very start of this uh, campaign to now, you know, it's, 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 I don't know if you can put a measuring stick on it. All right, Coach. Well, one of the fun things about this, at least right now, and I say it's fun because we don't know who's going to win, but it's been back and forth between Durant and Cersei, the vote totals that are coming in over the course of the day. So a couple of GAC towns that are down to the final two, realistically, or at least two of the top three, however it winds up. Uh, what what does that mean then for the Great American Conference? It, it's kind of neat to see both these towns represented. It, it really is. You know, at one point we, we may get to say just, uh, you know, if, if they would agree to it, let's just split the prize and, and let them have <laughs> half and let us have half. But I don't I don't think that would go for any community. But, it, you know, again, it just brings it to a little bit of more of a heightened sense of personal for us because we, we're we familiar, especially, you know, our student athletes and our staff are very familiar with, with Cersei, Arkansas and Harding University, which is located there. And it just gives us another little uh, opportunity to compete. And we're going to do everything that we can do to make sure that the Southeastern and the Blue and Gold comes out on top. Coach Jeff Morgan from Harding echoed some of those sentiments from Coach Baxter. Well, it's been a lot of fun uh, to be a part of and, uh, to uh, be one of the final six uh, communities is an awesome honor um, and something that, you know, we that live here in Searcy and have lived in Searcy for a while that uh, we love this place and uh, it's a great community. And uh, so to be a part of the, the final six is great and uh, apparently looking like it's uh, coming down to one of the top two. So uh, as we get closer to the deadline, so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been great for the community uh, as far as just the excitement that surrounds it. Uh, you can really uh, see it all around town and, and sense it that everybody's out there uh, uh, trying to trying to get votes and uh, trying to remind <laughs> people to vote. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to be a part of. And just to, to see the excitement and enthusiasm just for the whole community has been awesome. All right. Coach, part of this has been part of what makes this special is the fact that there are two towns that have GAC ties that are a part of the final six and, and really among the top in the voting as well, not only Cersei but Durant. Talk about what that means then for the GAC and, and how special is this to get this national attention? Well, I think it's it's something that uh, those of us who live in the footprint of the Great American Conference uh, – we got a lot of great communities uh, that, that make up uh, our footprint and uh, some of those being small towns that uh, have great connections with their universities. And, you know, the, there's there's not much better than, I think, than living in a community where um, uh, there's a strong tie and strong connections between the community and the university and you get great support uh, from the community and the university uh, likewise. So within our footprint the great american conference uh we certainly have that and i think that's awesome for our league and uh awesome for you know the state of arkansas and the state of oklahoma to uh be a part of this and to have two of the final six um as being a part of this is incredible and uh it's great for our league and uh maybe it's it's one of those things that makes people curious about the great American conference and want to look into it even further. And, um, but I think it is a strong testament to the communities and the universities that we have, uh, as a part of our conference. And, uh, certainly, I mean, like I said earlier, we're a little partial, uh, 
to Cersei, <laughs> and uh, and I know my my counterpart Kelly Green over at Southeastern Oklahoma. He's a little partial to Durant, and uh, but we've uh, we've had a lot of fun with this, and uh, we look forward to uh, you know the big announcement as as far as when they have announced the winner and, and those kind of things. So, but it is it's great for our league, great for the communities in our league, and again, I think you know you ask a lot of coaches around the country, they love being in communities where. Uh, it's small enough that when you go, you know, you go out to eat Sunday after church or you go out to eat at night or the movies or, you know, that people know about your program and people want to talk about it and and they want to talk about all your athletic programs and your teams. And I've got a lot of friends that coach at, you know, Division two schools that maybe are in a big city where they can go two blocks down the road and nobody even knows they have a team. And I think that's pretty awesome and pretty special about – uh, our community and and the communities within our conference is that you can go throughout town and and people know about all your teams and your programs and your student athletes can really connect with the community. Both Durant and Cersei were in the top three in votes as the online updates have continued through this week and the voting concludes at 10 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday. We will find out next week if either of these two towns is going to be the one that gets the online makeover in season four of Small Business Revolution. This has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net.